Welcome back my friends. Hope you're all having a great day today. I've got another video in this ongoing series where I'm sharing with you how you can have the greatest success raising your own worms at home, creating copious amounts of some of the best garden fertilizer money can't buy. Today I'm going to be sharing with you the quickest and easiest way that I found to harvest the worm castings from your worm bin. This is going to apply to any size worm bin. It only takes a couple minutes. It couldn't get any easier than this. You're going to be happy if you learn this technique. So here we are next to my worm farm, my worm bin. This is really a tub full of worms. Tub full of worms. That'd make a good song. Today is one of those days where everything turns out right. I got this tub full of worms and not a spider in sight. They've been doing a good job eating all my kitchen scraps. Now everything they ate done came out their backs. We do the worm poop dance. We do the worm poop dance. I'm happy that I finally have the chance. To do the worm poop dance, to do the worm poop dance. I scoop it and I feed it to my plants. So this bin was reset late last year. It's been active all throughout the spring and summer months. As we're heading into fall now, we're going to do another reset on this bin. But we've been putting all of our plant-based kitchen scraps into here. The worms have done an excellent job breaking down all that waste that would otherwise go into the trash and turning it into copious amounts of this premium fertilizer for the garden, these worm castings. So now we're at that crucial point many people struggle with, and that is how do we separate the castings from the worms so that we can harvest all of this fertilizer and get it into the garden? Well, on this channel, if you've been following along, you know that I've shared with you several techniques on how to go about doing that. But in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you the absolute quickest and easiest way to accomplish this. So even though when we initially reset the bin, the bedding was right up towards the very top, and we've been adding in pounds and pounds of food scraps, Everything has continued to sink down as it's been digested by the worms. And we've also been harvesting scoops out of here as needed. So at this point, we've got some room where we can kind of shift some of these castings over and create a little void where we can put some fresh bedding in. So that's what we're going to be doing. So I really like these ice scoopers when harvesting the castings. And if you've got any type of a screen material like here, I've got this used trampoline helping to allow all the leachate to drain out of the tub. I'm not going to poke into it as I would with a sharp spade. And look at all the worms in there. We're just throwing all of this to one side of the bin. Now the bedding material makes up about 50% of the worms diet. So not only have they processed down the food scraps, but all the original bedding, which I set this with coconut coir, has now been converted into worm castings as you can see. So all of these castings that I'm shifting over to the right side of the bin are all ready to go. I can harvest these as needed. And now that we're getting about full there on the right hand side, I'm going to harvest the rest of these castings, take it out of the bin. And the thing about red wigglers is they tend to stay in the top couple inches of your bin's material. So the deeper you go, the fewer worms you're going to have. That is, of course, until you start disturbing their bedding, at which point they'll begin to dive down. But because we moved so quickly, I was able to shift most of the worms over to that side with the castings on my way down to the bottom of this bin. So as you can see, there's still a few scraggler worms, but not many. I see a couple dozen here. So as you can see, the right side of the bin is now full of castings. The left side here, I'm going to harvest the rest of these castings. i got a bucket that I'm going to fill. These are ready to be put into the garden, turned into compost tea. And I am just not concerned about the few worms that are left in the castings here, as they're just going to end up in the garden. And let me give you a close-up here, just so you can see. There's really not many worms in here, just a few. So rather than spend an enormous amount of time trying to remove every single worm from your casting, I'd say be content with removing some of the worms out of the bin when it comes time for harvesting. As long as the majority are left in here, 
once we reset and put some fresh food and bedding in here, they're just going to continue to multiply. So we're here at the bottom of the bin now. Those worms right here, I don't want to injure them, so I'm just going to let them be. But check it out. We got a full five-gallon bucket of worm castings now ready for the garden. We can slap a lid on this and use these over the next couple weeks or so. So now we're going to replace this left side of the bin with some fresh worm bedding. And by the way, if you missed yesterday's video, I'll drop a link below. I shared with you all the common everyday free materials you can use to create a nice habitat for your worms. Perfect bedding material, things like newspaper and cardboard, wood chips. So check that video out. Today I'm going to be using my favorite material, which is coconut coir. The coconut coir is great because it comes in these easy to store compressed bricks that need to be hydrated. So it takes up very little space. You can stack many of these, have them ready to go at any time. And all you need to do is add some dechlorinated water to that compressed brick and it's going to expand the material. You're going to get a bunch of this worm bedding. You can add this into your garden as well. This coconut coir is absolutely perfect for worm bedding. They eat this stuff down. It helps to retain moisture, but also regulate the moisture to the perfect level in a bin. And even though there is an upfront cost, there are times when you can pick this stuff up for a really good deal. Right now is actually one of those times. And if you're interested, I'll put a link below to the best deal I've been able to find online. It's important when you are using the Coco Courier that you make sure that it's OMRI listed organic and that it's been rinsed of any salts. But if you don't have any Coco Courier or are not looking to spend any money, you can Check out that video I referenced earlier showing you how to use free products to create your bed. It's going to work just fine. All right, so we got our fresh new bedding here on the left-hand side. We're going to start feeding this our kitchen scraps. What's going to happen is the worms are going to come from the right side of the bin, and they're going to migrate over to feed on the new material. Now, time to time, I'll come over to these castings as I'm harvesting. And right now, most of the worms have dived down deep because of the disturbance. But if I find a little pocket of worms, and I might even put a little food in this area, I'll just take a scoop out and I'll transfer a few of them over, help them get started. And we just repeat this process every time we want to reset the bin and we're harvesting our castings. Just scooch all the castings over to one side of the bin, replace that side that's now been emptied with fresh bedding, start feeding the fresh bedding, the worms migrate over. So it's a back and forth harvesting reset. Works very well, saves you a bunch of time. And you can clearly see the difference in the two beddings. We've got the finished product here, black, gold, ready for the garden, and the new brown material here. Well, that's going to do it for today's episode. I sure do appreciate you all tuning in today. If you found it helpful or entertaining in any way, be sure to smash that thumb button for us. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing to the channel. New uploads every week, sometimes every day. And we're always sharing with you all the different things growing on around here. So with that, take care. Until next time, this is Dan from PlantAbundance.com. I'll be talking to you again soon. Today is one of those days where everything turns out right. I got this tub full of worms and not a spider in sight. They've been doing a good job eating all my kitchen scraps. Now everything they ate done came.